Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I streamed uh, another Crab's Treasure over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rules, straightforward gaming. You can go check it out there out on the VOD. The VOD, the raw VOD, I'll probably just put up on YouTube at some point in time. But here's a little clip it of one of the bosses you can fight in this game. It might be a little rough around the edges from this v from the VLC player, or it could just crash. For why, I don't know. Okay, maybe it was from that instance. Anyway, this game is fantastic, and I'm excited to see this game when it when it finally comes out. But as of right now, there's so much going on, and the only reason why I'm doing it like this is because my voice you couldn't hear me during this part of the game. Like the first hour of my stream, my 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 mic was muted or the wrong microphone was selected, so like it wasn't picking that up. Uh, it's got a little bit of motion blur. There's this there's this cool if you have the hooks, you can like you have a chance of like pulling the big monsters towards you. Uh, it's a really fun fishing game. I didn't understand it until like right before this fight i was like oh i need hooks in order to do because sometimes i just couldn't hook enemies it was really weird but you get to run around swap your shells all the shells have like most of the shells have like different abilities like there's the shards ability where like you tuck underneath the shot glass shell and it puts spikes out like there's one in this fight actually we have the tin can on right now which has shell shock which static electricity is yourself so if you could hit with a physical attack, you get shot. You shock everybody around you. This guy sucks you up and tries to kill you every time. It sucks. I hate it. It's one of the worst abilities in the game so far. Uh, we fought a crab with with uh, with with chopsticks. Uh, I broke the game because uh, that's in the vod. I gotta get that get that bit of the vod and put it up on stream to see just on Twitter to see if people will see it. Um, but yeah. In this fight, it felt so good. It feels very Dark Souls like. Uh, the control scheme was Dark Souls like. I swapped all the controls around, so it felt so it felt good to actually fight in this game. Uh, it feels good to win. It feels good to like learn things about enemies. It feels good to understand like the enemy types, like the archers, the little the little little punchy guys, all the different shells. Uh, when it comes to Souls games and Metroidvanias, I get lost incredibly hard. This game is no different. I was getting lost a lot on stream. That's why I was streaming for like an hour. I was like, oh, I'm going to do this for like 10, 30 minutes and then continue to do something else. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a. Uh... Another Crab's Treasure. Couldn't think of the name. That was another Crab's Treasure. It's a really fun game. Go check it out. It's over on Steam. I'll leave the links for it in the description down below. Uh, and if you guys enjoy or want to see a full video on that game, let me know in the comments down below. I think I'll put, like I said, I think I'll put the raw footage up. But like the first hour of the video, like I don't, I don't want to put up like videos where I don't, where I'm not talking. Anyway, game's really fun. It's a Souls like game. Plays a little hermit crab. You get shells. They all have different abilities. You have the that hook thing that is the fishing thing. Super fucking cool. Uh, when you run through the areas, you can uh, unlock ladders like you would do in Souls like games. So you can travel to other places very easily. Uh, all the monsters, even the little guys that are running around, feel like bosses. They feel like mini bosses. Like if they beat you with a good combo or push you off the ledge, you're dead. And it's a lot of fun. Do the tutorial first. Play the tutorial first, but understand that when you get the fishing line thingy in the tutorial, it doesn't quite, it doesn't stick to enemies for some reason. I don't know if that's a bug in the game, but like for me, it wasn't working. And then uh, when you get into the grove, I, I think it's the unexplored or the expired grove is what it's called. Like the, the, the free roam place, the place I just showed you, that's part of the place. Go check that out. That has all the other monsters in it where you could run around and kind of just like get a taste of like what the game is going to be like. It is fun as hell. Go check it out. Links in the description down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.